Hello, and thank you for joining us today in our study of the book of Psalms. Today we consider Psalm 19. Not a very lengthy psalm, and yet it has to deal with the declaration and, and the proclamations both about God and from God. So let's look at and see what David has to say in Psalm 19. Beginning in verse 1, we read, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Its rising is from one end of heaven, and its circuit to the other end, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant also from pres presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless, and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. As you consider Psalm 19, there's several things that we could pull out and, and several things that we sh can focus on from this chapter and it is a very contemplative chapter. It's, it's one that deals a lot with considering ourselves and our relationship with God and, and how we see the things concerning God. Let's look at a couple of different things and, and illustrate that point. In the very opening verses of Psalm 19, David makes the statement that the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. The things that we see in the world around us, the things that are laid before us each and every day, tell us that God is there. The beauty of it, the control of it, the ability to be able to see the logic and the reason behind it, all are things that declare the glory of God and show his handiwork. Even day to day and night to night, there are the, the revelations and the honor that is bestowed upon the Creator. There is no speech, verse 3, or language where the declaration of nature is not heard. As a matter of fact, man for millennia has gone through and looked at the world around him, at the beauty and the grandeur of it and been mindful of the fact that there is something greater than him. And so you see the declarations of nature being discussed. But then he's also going to talk about, beginning in verse 7, the proclamations that God gives, and how those impact us. He says in verse 7, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. What God proclaims has a profound impact upon man. When man recognizes who he is, when he is willing to make the admission of who God is and what he has done, then his law converts the soul. His testimony makes wise the simple. His statutes cause the heart to rejoice 
and so on and so forth. There is a reaction from mankind to the word of God when man recognizes who God is. David is going to talk about here the declarations, yes, that nature gives us for God, but also the proclamations that God gives to man. And he will close the psalm in verse 14 by stating, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. So should be the intents of our heart as well, that the things that we focus on, the things that we strive after might be things that are acceptable in the sight of God because the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. Next time we'll come back and we will begin looking at Psalm 20. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you'll join us next time. But until then, have a great day.